Hello, I just tried to do the podcast like three different times and kept talking about the average podcast. It's been two weeks in a row. Over here, we saw it. I back in the house and still guess. All the way from pretty much health and today. Who am I? Holy shit. Go with me. And I go in there, and dude, and it was such a fun concert. And I go in and like. Shout out Travis for putting me on. In no time, dude, I'm like. It wasn't quite a mosh pit because it's like a semi reggae. But then once, like Pennywise said, it was. But dude, and I'm like. Because at the time I was younger, I. Not, I'm not even saying, like, hold my own, but I was in the middle just, like, I love to party and get people partying around me. Like, I want everybody to feel yeah. good and have a big party. Yep. Like, I've, dude, I went to Willie Nelson and got a whole fucking bleacher thing of grandmas rocking back and forth to Willie Nelson really? that, that weren't even moving, you know? Really? And pretty soon yeah. I'm like, we... I respect that. Pretty soon they're all, you know, dancing you with me. You paid money, have a good time. Dude, yeah, <laughs> and so that's what this was. I go and, like, and instantly, two of these, they were fucking awesome dudes. These two, they're just huge, too. They look, like... Semi bodybuilder, just cool, mountain. big dudes, <laughs> and they were instantly like my two best friends all night long. And we just we hung out and drank and partied, and then we go to leave. And uh, as we leave, one of the opening bands was out was standing outside with us, and this couple comes out and they'd had this fucking big banner, and every, they're signing it. The drummer walks over, and just hands me the sharpie. I go sign it like I'm with the band. Nice. Then so we jumped in from there and jumped in a cab with the band, and we head over to the fucking hard rock and we just we partied the rest of the night That's and sweet. Where this was solo like extracurricular dude this was me like, going like legendary like, i didn't uh, know anybody a yeah. i didn't know anybody walking out i went down for a pool tournament with people from here and they were like focused on pool and i was like fuck you guys one of my favorite bands is in town and i'm going to see them and like oh. i'd won money the first night and i played some pool games and won a bunch of money and then i went and hit a blackjack table like back to back and i was like fuck yeah I'm booking all my tickets. I'm doing whatever I will, like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was so yeah. fun, man. And then, but like I said, I've, some of my best stories have been when I go solo because if I go solo and I go hard, I don't end up, like, pissing somebody off. I yeah, don't end up, don't like. don't have to worry about any. And if I do, I just avoid them or, I don't, you know, you don't have, like, the, hey, what should we do, dude? What do you want to eat? Or, hey, should we go yeah. here? Or did they get mad? Or mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you worry about them getting too drunk or whatever it is, you know, like, but. Yeah, you go on your own, and if and if I if my night was shitty and I ended up passed out under a bush, nobody knows. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah. I did that yeah, a lot. Exactly. Even then, it was still an yeah, adventure. Yeah. Like, yeah, I did that a lot in Boise, man. A lot of the concerts. I think I went to about twelve or like thirteen really big concerts, and except for the one that B came with me, I went to all of them solo. And uh, a lot of like the people I knew in Boise kept asking me, they're like, "Aren't you getting tired of going to concerts by yourself?" But like all my friends like, didn't have money and, like, you know, couldn't get, like, yep. the seating on time or they'd sell out. I love going solo, And so though. I was like, yeah, no, I mean, not really, man, because it's really fun because, like you said, you know, you just do your own agenda and you don't have to really, like... Well, and I know. network, too, with people all yeah, the time. Like, with what, what I do, I dude, always I'm always at, networking yeah. and I'm, like, meeting people and, like, just trying to almost leveling up, you know? Can this guy help me? Like, and uh, part of my a lot of people don't want to stand next to me while I'm doing that or doing, like, just bullshit and random people <laughs> right. like that. A lot, of, a lot of times if you brought friends or something, they're like come on, fuck, dude, let's go, let's just go do shots or do whatever it is. Yeah. And you're like, no, dude, I'm, I kind of got, like, this agenda that I'm trying to do something, you know, whatever it ends That's up being like for the, the day. That's, like, the definition of B, though, man. Like, B always tags people along with him, and then he just runs in, and it's like, oh, come on, bro. <laughs> Lost hey, I him. make you guys a lot of new friends, yeah. too. Like, no, for real. Like, I've met, I met a lot of good people, like, through situations like that, but, yeah, I know what you mean. And it does suck, you know, when you're, like, you want to have that conversation. Well, while you, you know. our new friend Cameron that I just like, yeah, <laughs> literally ran into him on the side of the street the other day, and now we've became pretty good friends. And he's just up here working, and just one of those random acquaintances. I was is I was solo that like, day too. I just on. was walking back. I got done DJing, and I stopped to see my brother, and he's standing out there, and we just like started bullshitting. And he pretty soon he goes, "You skate?" And I was like, "Yeah, I skate." And he has a bunch of friends that are my friends too. That and we had never knew each other, yeah. but yeah, kind yeah. of a cool deal. Well, should we take a quick break and take a shot of tequila or what? Yes, sir. Yep. All right, let's do it. We'll be right back, Montartica. <laughs> All right, we're back. We were about to get deep. Literally. In Oregon. In no. Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, no, I, I, we were talking about, like, who this, how'd this happen? I got up, had a break to get a beer and didn't even get a beer. Anyway, uh, we were talking about... Uh, I got you. All right. We were talking about who listens to the podcast, and, like, 
Brandon just said, hey, I think Casey's the biggest fan of the podcast. He's always listening. I go, no. I, like, well, I know Brett listens. There's a lot of our friends that listen, but, right but there's, there's plenty of them, seriously, that I get that uh, are like, oh, well, I had my earbud in at school, and I was listening to your podcast. I'm like, oh, shit. How much do you know, and how, how drunk did I get? Because, I mean, like, for everybody, this, this podcast still is under the comedy section, and we still normally do drink while we yeah, do it. And yeah. So it does get some deep stories, for sure, but... But like I was just telling Brandon, I feel like uh, if you, honesty is the policy to a fucking peaceful life, really. Like if you own up to your shit, no matter what you did, as long as you own it, then you're responsible for it. No matter what it is, you know, or telling people, but at least then you're not like dancing around the truth or telling a big windy one that you got to cover up fucking 10 years later and still tell that same story type of a... Run it in circles. Yeah, head, and then and then, to me, I, I feel like that creates stress and nervousness. I'd rather yeah, just, just be like, here's right, me, I here's what it. I am, yeah. talk to me, you know, whatever. Yeah. Like, and I'll let you know, and I'm an honest guy that way, but I feel like it sucks because there's not a whole lot of honesty anymore, but, yeah. like, honesty is the fucking equalizer. Like I said, especially for a peaceful soul. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to fucking wake up every morning happy. Yeah, and it's just, like, so comforting, too, because you can go to, like, you never have to trip out about a shit because you can just be like well they already know the yeah. truth so they know who I am yeah, it doesn't, yeah right. you know. and that was my problem like um, when I was listening to some of the ones I was on um, a couple of years ago I realized like that's what I was doing I was so intimidated by like the people that were in the room and the people going that like listen to it I was like oh man like I don't you know I, I definitely kept a boundary up and this is why I wanted to come back because I was like definitely at this point I know like I know how how podcasts run and to yeah. it I'm like okay just you just be yourself. Yeah, you can you get so I mean? comfortable after the what? first one. Yeah. It's literally one, and then you well, got like this. I, understanding. Yeah. You're getting nervous with a mic in your face. Yeah. For one, I get to where, like, I don't, uh, I don't care what people think. Yeah. If you care so much about people, I mean, like, obviously, you got a shower and right. take yeah. the entire yeah. you know, the U.S. time, you know, they get them to pull down my crap. Like, you know, I, <laughs> you're picking up people. <laughs> just, I feel like, people can really take it. Anyone, anyone, you have not drip? That's a problem. You gotta, you won't oh, you're right. Live action conference, just have Don't fun, go drink. upstairs. Do not, yeah, do not go upstairs. Because that's, that's where they us. just, fina- they're like, oh, it's private. And the they dude like, that, try to tell you they'll fuck you and suck The dude that interrupted us with those girls make you take goes the first stripper. The stripper that was like dry humping me. It's what he deserved. Goes up to the, goes upstairs, drains his whole bank account within Lost two hours. <laughs> drains his whole bank account. Everything. Okay, and then get this. We go. He's so mad. It's mad at us because he so, has no money. No, he's so mad that he spent all his money. He comes down. He's like, "Yo, let's leave." Pulls out his phone that was dead and orders a fucking yeah, Uber. Yeah, says back his to phone's dead. Pulls his phone out uh, and gets an Uber. Yo. This motherfucker. Maybe he was yeah. paying to charge yeah. his phone upstairs. Dude, I'm Fuck. saying, yeah. Nick. Yeah, maybe. Like, I like you. You're yeah. decent. I hope you listen to yeah. this. But I'm gonna like, tell him. Fuck you, sure. you a little. Bit. No, I've already got on him. Fuck you a little bit. I, it was so mad because me and B could have like really done wonders that night, and instead it just was a big but, L, man. No, at the same time, I get where he's coming from because he hadn't seen him in years. Yeah. So it's like he's like, damn, yeah. I might be able to cock block Casey's friend and fuck some yeah. sexy bitches with yeah. my. Well, homie. you should have known better. You know, but it's just like, dude. One for gotta, all and gotta, all for me. You gotta, Fuck you, yeah, you got to know when yeah. to walk away because it's like yeah. there's two chicks and like they ain't that wild. Yeah, do I'm math, sure. man. Like seriously, and like seriously, if it was the other way around and I do saw math. him walking away. <laughs> is, that what? What? is that what he just said? Do math. Math. Yeah. Oh. Math. <laughs> <laughs> do math. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? He. Are you he. Talking? he <laughs> <laughs> But I watch my kid on certain ones, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? That's insane. You know what was sweet, though? Today, or yesterday, I bartended, and Braden was at home with his his friend. And they were so pumped about getting Xbox Game Pass, and they're going to get the new Mortal Kombat, and they're going to play, and they're going to play, and blah, 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 all night long. And so Carol let him, like, pull an all-nighter and hang out with his buddies, you know, whatever. And I woke up this morning, and it's, like, right before the football game, Casey's over here yeah, vaping his vape. Doing, yeah, but anyway, he's making sure everybody knows that he's cool enough to vape and not okay. smoke regular cigarettes. Yeah, there but anyway, so Braden's like, let's play some Mortal Kombat. And I'm like, oh, shit, Sega Genesis, here we come. I'm going to whoop your ass. Yep. Sure enough, dude, I destroyed him. And I have never played this the new one at all. But it was so much like button crunching, yeah. same old fucking Combos, shit. like... 
It was so funny because they'd been playing all night, and he thinks like. I'm gonna kick my dad's ass. <laughs> yeah, he just worked. Really you know, I worked. walked up and I'm like fucking sub zero in him across. Like, yeah, the freeze yeah. ball in the chain. Finish him. Yeah. Eat it. I, love I go, Mortal hey kid. I, X too. Like, I go, if you just small. started last night, you gotta be another ten thousand hours to go. Yeah, right. You put the <laughs> that work was in. the game back then. Yeah. Like that was even at like arcades and shit. Yeah. Stretches and Dude. all that. Like just the joy. I'm telling you, I had I had buttons. Sega Genesis with it on there, and like. Yeah, we went hard back in the day. That was like, you'd almost ruin a friendship, dude. You pu- you're doing the same move. Over, quit pushing the same fucking button. Spamming. You're trapping me in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Spamming, yeah. You yeah. fucking button, yeah. button masher, yeah. button masher. Yeah, yeah. There's no skill. You just push a button. Yeah. Me and B get really like competitive when we play Madden. Oh together. fuck yeah! I, we would put I, money seriously. Down I every bought game. Madden and made enough money to pay for the copy of Madden I bought yeah. off him. Yeah. We, I won nice. like we'd do ten dollar bets and I won like yeah. seven in a row, yeah. and then at the at some point it was just like, dude, I feel like I'm just stealing from you. Yeah. That's <laughs> one of those games that I walk in that I'm good at all the time too. Mad, I know enough. Yeah, I know too. enough football and like, right. and that's where I'm like a little worried. I'm now, ballsy enough. Like, I'm ballsy enough on Madden to be like, actually. fuck fourth downs, dude. I don't punt. Right. <laughs> like, but yeah. Yeah. it's fourth down. We ain't punt, dude. Either. I'm one, for real though. I like even Nate when he was getting real good at it. He came over and like we go down to like. The wire on, right, and I'm like, yeah. I never play, but yeah. I know it good enough. You yeah. know, and defense is the biggest thing on yeah. those games too. If you even have just like a general knowledge of like some s- schemes, yeah, you stuff. gotta be able to back and forth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it helps play for sure. Zone every single play, no shit. Or if I don't know, I'm kind of a just run goal line every play, and how many right. times I can I sack his ass. The house. <laughs> I blitz so much. I blitz so much. Run goal line, no, hit, hit the button, and take my one dude way back every time. Be right. like, at least I'll tackle you. Yep. <laughs> hey, you're not going to score. No, I wish I had the new Madden on I deck. I Me too. I don't real either. Quick before you when I was on. in Tulsa, I, I bought it, and uh, I was playing, and I started going on live and, like, uh, competing against, like, other people. And the first, like, week, dude, I just got smashed every fucking time, dude. But eventually, like, I really... So many sweaty group. kids just yeah. trying hard. Yeah, it, it is insane, dude. Yeah, like drinking Mountain Dew and yeah. as I'm the sweaty Mason. kid here, but I felt bad drinking pre workout trying to do a podcast. <laughs> I felt bad. You guys hot? I'm sweating, man. <laughs> because like for Bounce once, like the Rams the are actually a good team on man. Like my whole life, like the Rams, like were like racing. Yeah, lucky you. How it's real tough you, to be a Lions fan and still play man. How did I? Yeah. Um, I, I really don't... Um, he was probably four when they won the Super Bowl with Marshall yeah, Fall. Yeah, 2001. No. Yeah. Um, well, I was, yeah. Uh, but uh, You're an OG bandwagon fan shit. is what it was. Uh, no, nah, it was like my dad worked at a mine when I was like really young, and he'd take me out there every uh, every weekend so I could see the, the, uh, the, what, the, the Rams, you know, like fight. And shit, because, like, there'd be, like... Oh, the actual... Yeah, like... Animals around? Right where the door, where he would walk in to go to the mine, like, they would be on a hill. Was that here or down? Yeah, yeah, it was in Stillwater, Montana. I just thought he was talking about an event where people made (laughs) fucking rams fight. I was, like, trying to wrap my head around this. We'd go to these... What kind of hillbilly shit? We'd go to these LARPing events every Sunday. (laughs) (laughs) They'd bring these goats out and make them headbutt. (laughs) It was was super cool, man. It was actually one of the things I definitely am happy (laughs) of. I got to uh, witness as a kid, man, and I, I got on there. But I do remember, actually, the first time I had something of the Rams. I had this football, and it was a Rams football. I had Marshall Falk's face on it. And uh, and that's when I was like, yo, I fuck with this guy. I fuck with this team. And uh, I just I never wanted to, like, change it, you know. there's nice. But I am, like, a low-key certain other teams. Like, if I wasn't a Rams fan, I would, and know what's crazy is if I wasn't a Rams fan, I'd be either a Dolphins fan, a Jets fan, or a Bills fan. You hit your Swear. wife. Swear. Oh, wow. Swear. I don't know. What happened there? Because they I all just, play the Patriots? No, or what? Like, I just like... <laughs> right. They're That's teams like that just like... They're just teams. I haven't scratched my <laughs> head so <laughs> hard in so <laughs> long. <laughs> That's seriously straight up one division. Yeah. Oh, is it? Isn't it? The Bills are in the same division as know. the Patriots. Dolphins? The Jets are, too. And so are the Dolphins. Yeah, that's literally a whole division. Really? Bro. Besides the Patriots. I know. They got Pittsburgh, don't they? No, Pittsburgh's in the AFC yeah, North. Right. Dude, that's a whole division. That's so <laughs> he random. Just, he hates any. It's because he sees the Patriots Everybody play him twice a year. In the Patriots. Yeah. I would say the Browns, team. but now the Browns are like, you know, obviously. What they, they do today? They, oh, no, they play Monday, don't they? Yeah. I got a joke with Passy. Oh, I got uh, work tomorrow night, too. That'll be nice to at yeah. least get a watch on. I, uh, there's a lot of hype behind them. They definitely did not live up to it the first game, but that's 
First game, you never know. Yeah, a lot of rust, man. But I then like again, well, dude, and honestly, it's how honestly, you, week to week, you never know, because it's it, like if you lo- like, yeah, but then if again, you look at the stats, like if a team plays each other twice, they almost always split it. Like it's almost impossible to beat a team. Unless twice it's the Lions Packers, we've been sweeping them for a right, couple years right, now. No, yeah. that's true. Eat but it, I'm saying, cheese heads. But like <laughs> statistically, it's like it's so like everybody's at that level where they're pro and elite. Yeah. So oh, yeah, they're all like, good. You learn the game. Well, and that's, that, that was the deal like, today with the Lions. I'll take the Steelers losing to the Patriots week one. It's Dude, like, yeah. the deal with the Lions today, like, normally it'll come down to two plays at the end or whatever. Right. You know, a couple a couple things that go your way one way or the other. Yeah. An interception or a fumble here or there. That's they just happen to, to fall watch. They just happen to fall our way today yeah. Yeah. as opposed to... And it, it, like, damn near every time, too. Except especially if we outs. if we make it through the forty seven holding calls we get for no reason a game <laughs> and still win dude, the Lions are balling that game, get bu- dude we get refs, dude, so, so bad. I've every time I see too, it's like at first I thought I was like Travis is just bitching because every time I see Jerome Boger on TV I'm like and that. Then I like part. started watching Lions game and I'm like dude they are getting the most bullshit calls twenty four seven. Dude Arizona, dude, I mean it was, I wonder why that is. Trey like, Flowers touched a dude's face mask, face mask halfway to the goal, one yard line, whatever. Like right. into the, and I'm like they're fighting. It literally and, didn't affect the play, just bumped. Not it, even close. You know, hey, the, shit, but we get yeah. those. Today, uh, Slay got one in the end zone on a fucking... He didn't even hardly touch him, and they called a pass interference on him. We didn't throw a flag on it. They come down right at the goal line, and that's the one where they went to try and jump the goal line, and Jelani Tavai, our rookie, knocked out a fumble, fumble yeah. took it up, and I was like, All right. that's good, because that was a bullshit reason they were in there anyway. Like, yeah. I, And that's what it, like, that's why we were talking before the po- podcast, how we think the NFL might be a little rigged. Yeah. It, it's like... It could be. I really, I mean, like, if Vince McMahon is wanting to start another league, you tell me yeah. the most rigged sports league on the planet of WWE or whatever he calls it now wants to start another NFL league. I mean, like, be the competitor of the NFL. You tell me that there's not some There's not a little bit of entertainment Tom value Brady. in there. Yeah. Tom Brady. Like I said, try to be try to be a Lions fan and watch the NFL Network. You'll watch for fucking fourteen hours to get one clip. Yeah, to be yeah, like, that's oh I shit, don't I seen him. You. And I don't know if it's just because they suck that bad, or if it's because like honestly, no, it's I mean, hate. They do suck it's that like bad. they're pushing their agenda. The Patriots, yeah. America's team. Dude, the, I, like, Cowboys, I'm just gonna go ahead and bandwagon the Patriots. Fuck it, I got AB on my fantasy team. We're gonna uh, go with it. After his rape charges don't stick, he's going for bazillions of yards, yeah, and Tom Brady's getting another. That's just public shaming for the Illuminati. That's almost bro. like that's all that is. They're like, I could go so deep sometimes and w- wonder, like, wonder, but it's you know most it probably isn't. That's probably just my stupid brain trying to. Yeah, that's my. It's probably the fluoride making me dumb. The reptilian no, just, brain <laughs> coming out a little bit. Yeah, Eddie no. Bravo and all of us. I love listening to that shit, dude. I. It's entertaining. Fun All of it. I, I love. I get into football, man. I like. I'm in there screaming at my TV. I'm jumping up and down today when they like. They, tr- there's. A, we're like third and six. If we get a fucking first down, we win the game. And the announcer's like, they better not throw. They're too close to their own goal line. If they throw, they're blah blah blah. And I'm like, fuck. We haven't ran it at all all game. And Stafford rolls out and hits our tight end for a first down. I'm like, fuck yeah. I'm <laughs> jumping up and down yeah. like we won finally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm owing no. two. Well, yeah, we're. Uh, we're one zero oh, and one, so we're undefeated uh, with a tie. That's awesome. You guys tied the first game. Tied the uh, fucking Cardinals. Cardinals yeah. We're beating dude, like ties are stupid. Dude, twenty six to six. That, that's yeah. the thing. Like, just fucking finish the game. Make them play till twelve o'clock at night. Who I don't give a shit. shit. They no. used to do that. They used to be like nine overtimes. No, they're yeah. like now let's let them tie. Yeah, yeah. dude, that's horse. High shit. five in the middle field and fucking. I get it. You're tired. I tell you but what, it's it, like it's a competition. Dude, it You're felt like a loss to me because we were up twenty six six going into fourth and then fucking. No way. Yeah. Uh, I didn't oh, know wow. that either. That's rough. It was very wow. rough. I'm like, this is You're so probably so, this is so lion-like. I'm at, the sa- at that point, I'm like, same old lions. Motherfucker, here well, they go. What's crazy is like, yo, like Sundays are <laughs> oh, a big deal for so me, mad. and I love them so much. And like, I definitely get happy when I get to see like a good win. But at the same time, I notice that if I'm just watching like a normal, just like good classic game of just like two teams, like, you know, for same. example, like the Packers and Bears or just like something that's really competitive, like when it comes to rivalries, it's like, oh, it's really interesting and you enjoy it. But then when your team is playing and it's like a big game, your heart's just like beating out. Get out away the TV. I cried. Yeah. I cried sick. when Peyton Manning beat the Steelers in the playoffs and like 
I, I was like in eighth grade. Dude, I literally I like had, so a, I had a motion today mad. about to squirt a tear, like going, finally. Then, what dude, dude what's finally. crazy is that was a regular season, and then we beat them in the playoffs with Big Ben tackled. Remember that yep. shoestring tackle? That yeah. was that same year, and like. Dude, last not, I was. Rem- I remember thinking like my dad was trying to like comfort me, and he didn't know what the fuck to even say. Who did like, you do? It's a football game. Calm the fuck man down. Man up, no. yeah, exactly. Then looking back on it, I was like, why the fuck was I being a little? Dude, bitch? I was so mad. I was like ready to destroy my house. Last year, the Lions beat the Patriots, like destroyed them, and the Patriots won the Super Bowl last year. So I was like, that's something to hang our hat on. That was. Yeah. It was one of those games. I was like, yep. walking yep. away. Like didn't think we were gonna win the season, but I knew. Then I was like. They hung one up. Yeah. Like, that was one. Like, That's a win. When, yeah. I was in, when I was in Boise. Um, you don't just go beat up on the Patriots. And it was that first season. Nobody um, gets to After do I that. left, it was the one where we uh, we made the playoffs and we lost to the Falcons. And uh, and we we went to Seattle. And I, like, I, there's no team in the NFL I hate more than Seattle. We went to Seattle, and I was, like, really nervous about it because it was, like, it was big on who was going to get in the playoffs, like them or us. And we beat them, like, 57 to 3. Or some and like even like that was like the one game where I was like, "Those are the like, funnest games to happy. watch your team go nuts." I was like, nuts. "Oh man, dude, they had like the 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 so fans dope. in Seattle." Everything that can go right, yeah, goes dude. Right. When it yeah, when they're just balling, it's so fun to yeah. be like, Woo, "It's yeah. my Sunday." You guys suck, yeah. dick. I know. I'm sitting there today, like. Here, like, do you guys get superstitious about your team too? Like, a little bit. Yeah. You're like, fuck. It's, I feel it's like me. I got the lose, wrong shirt on. Or I got like, and I don't dude. watch. I'm like, they lost because I didn't watch. Yep. If I would have watched that game, they would have won. I uh, I bought a Todd Gurley jersey um, the week we were playing the Eagles, and I wore it that Sunday, and we lost to the Eagles, and I was like, what the fuck? I got and you. it was our first. Or, Wait, it was one of our first losses of, of the season because we were undefeated. Yeah, and it then, was twelve and zero, and then they yeah. were twelve and one. And right? then I was like. Uh, the next week we played the Bears, and I watched that game. Had the jersey on, lost that game. You're like, oh and, shit, it's me. I took off the jersey. We won the rest of the games, the rest of the season, yep. and then I did not wear it until the Super Bowl. I put it on during the Super Bowl, blown lost out, dude. Super and Bowl. I will not wear that jersey. I do not wear that I got, jersey. We'll I got one. I want you. Hey, this Lions shirt I got on today is undefeated right now. Hey, That's there good. you go. We'll take it. Yeah. yeah. So, but <laughs> don't I'm, watch it. I'm, I'm telling you, <laughs> dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to after all the pre workout and <laughs> sweating right. doing a podcast. <laughs> but I've I've done that too. Where like, well, today I'm sitting there. I'm laying on or like wrapped up on my bed watching in the game Oregon. <laughs> in Oregon. <laughs> I'm sitting there in Oregon today, watching uh, <laughs> watching this fucking football game, and I'm blowing up balloons for my daughter's birthday, and she comes in and she starts like shuffling balloons around or whatever and. And I'd blown this yellow one up, and I was, like, fucking around with it for a bit. And shit started going wrong for the Lions. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm holding Chargers colors. I'm going to get a blue one. I yeah. blew up a fucking Honolulu blue one, and I start tossing it in the air, and I'm catching it, and all of a sudden they're fucking balling out. I'm like, yep, Carol, comes in, Carol comes in, and she's, like, moving all the balloons. She's like, I thought you'd have them laid out around the house today. And I was like, well, the, the football game's intense. And she starts taking them. I was like, wait. Give me that blue one back. <laughs> <laughs> I held on to it, and we fucking won, so that balloon better. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I was literally, like, tossing it there like I can't drop it. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. It's, it makes it that much more fun. It dude. is, man. I get superstitious like that. Like, it would be, like, it's my fault that this professional sports team in Detroit that I've never met a single one of them <laughs> yeah. would lose if I dropped my yellow balloon or yeah. my blue balloon. Like, <laughs> yeah, for real. But that's the way you get in your own head because you're watching games like that, and yeah. like and it that's what makes so it so much, much fun to you emotionally that you like gotta tie yourself in. This got nothing so to do with crazy. any of the rest of my life. It's yeah. so stupid that it's got yeah. me that sucked into yeah. it because yeah. I could be out skateboarding, doing something that actually matters in my life. Yeah. It's still like, wow. but no, I'm stuck there for three hours every Sunday, going like, well, let's watch this team destruct every. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. And when, yeah. The, when they're bad too. Oh, it's so disappointing, mortars. dude. It's yeah. so disappointing. Like I said, that was, like, one of the most painful cries of my life, too. <laughs> Over fucking the Colts. Yeah. Dude, I really wasn't that mad at the Super Bowl. Like, when I was watching it, it really sucks. I threw this, like, really big Super Bowl party. I had a bunch of people over. And, like, they were just, like, felt really bad for me. And they're like, oh, man. Because they knew I was just hyped the whole fucking season. Casey's getting sympathy sex yeah. tonight. Yeah. But, but like, I, at the same time, it was, like. That was the last time he got I was really sex. happy we got that far. <laughs> And like I said, dude, I'm I'm celebrating if the Lions make the Super Bowl. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But I may yeah. cry if they don't dude, fucking win it when they're there. Dude, well, I was I was just happy we beat the Saints because I, I just hate the Saints that much, and we beat them in the NFC Championship game. But at the same time, like the, like I was, I'll saying, take uh, a fucking playoff win at this yeah. point. 
Uh, at the same time, it's been you're since like, though. dude. I was like, you're desperate. When we seven, the last time when we up. were kicking that last field goal, or there was two field goals. There was one where we were to tie it to go into overtime, and there's the other one that made us win. I had never felt so worse in my life. I felt like I was gonna have a heart attack. I like, I was like sick, and I was like, yo, I don't want to die once it goes in because like I want to watch the Super Bowl. I wonder and how many. Like, I, I, I wonder. Watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> and I was like, I was so. You, I bet you wish you were dying, dude. I wonder how many heart Bowl. attacks from dudes yeah. sitting around eating shitty food all day and yeah. drinking heavily <laughs> and getting into the game oh, so hard. Oh, or like, I if there is sports or yeah. fighting Every people, year, like I mad. Bet there's a- I, I bet, bet there's happens. so many that yo, drop they because were, of the NFL. They were whooping us the whole game. Like, it was just like the Saints were, like, smiling. Like, yep, we're going to Super Bowl. Like, we said we were. And, yo, know, like, yo, Sean Payton brought in, uh, I think, what is it, like $250,000 you get for winning the Super Bowl each player. He brought in a case full of two, and it was all stacked up ones, a trophy and a ring. And he, like, showed him, and he's like, yo, this is what you're fighting for. And he, like, got his, like, he went out there before the game started. Sean Payton's a stud. Yeah, yeah that's told the, hype shit. Told the whole crowd, they're like, yo, this is the exact moment I need you guys to start screaming. Like, they had us, man. And, like, it was so crazy that when I saw that kick, I was like, they did. yo, and if then, this really happens right now, I'm going to And then McVay blew a ref. Yeah. I'm not so sure yeah, what happened there, but. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> There's some pass interference involved. Whatever, man. The Lions got hosed on one like that, too. They fucking, a few years back, they are playing in Dallas. Same thing. Dude gets, like, face guard drilled like that. Same yeah. thing. They threw the flag, though. This is how good it is being a Lions fan. They throw the flag and we're like, fuck yeah, first down, we're winning the game. They walk out and pick up the flag and go, there was no pass interference on that flag. And Off we're like, yeah. you know what? I'm like, at that point, I'm irate. I'm like, I'm so lucky my TV survived that day. Yeah. But, <laughs> it's lucky you didn't end up on like a world star coffee destroying your whole You got to throw house. the whole TV away when that happens. Dude, so mad at that point. <laughs> I'm good with electronics. I can take my I can take my phone and throw it across the room, and break, it and be like, I'll fix that thing tomorrow. But yeah. uh, I'll fix. It. <laughs> yeah, they did. They fucking. Oh man. Pick this up the flag. It's still a deal, and dude, fingers. I'm telling you, there's. But that isn't even the only one. There's so many. If like, no, I. Know. If anybody out there, and which I know, there's like four of us. But if there's anybody out there that's a Lions fan, you know. The ref controversy. The like you don't be a lion. You don't be a Lions fan, a and basis. not got a, like a stink eye for the refs. Like. Yeah. Dude. You hate the refs more than any Dude. of my other football And it's friends, sad. Everybody's like, sure. everybody's like, oh, for yeah, sure. blame the ref. Blame sure. I'm like, no, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't hate the refs if I liked the Patriots. Right. You would love Or them. the Packers. Like, I watch the Packers hold every game. Ridiculous holding. The Lions fucking brush a dude's bag. Boom, holding. It, it, I'm telling you. It's a real thing. It is a real thing. It's a real thing. And I'm like, I'm a realist. I'm not trying to be an asshole. And I'm not trying to be a crazy person either. That's why I just I'm happen to I be a Lions both sides fan. of the spectrum because like their views on the Steelers change every year. They're yeah. like, "Oh, we love you," and then it's like, "You guys." Yeah, all you guys got to do is just hold a hand and a half and be like, "We got uh, look at all these rings." Yep. Yeah. Six of them. Yeah. On the top. Tom Brady, probably coming for one more. That motherfucker. Uh, literally, that motherfucker. Yeah, it's rough, dude. It's rough. They're destroying people right now, yeah. but. It, Dude, it must be so fun to be Tom. You Brady. know what I just realized though is <laughs> that like, <laughs> like I was thinking that of Bill Belichick the other day. I was like, he says nothing to the media ever. Yeah. But can you imagine he Bill Belichick on the grumpy asshole? To the on media. the other side of like, because you can't, he barely talks to the media. You don't coach a football team to be that good and not like be a cool, funny, yeah. fucking personable, whatever kind of dude. Yep. But you wonder like, you walk around being Bill Belichick, knowing like, I'm the greatest that ever lived. Uh, literally. Best at football, like, ever, hands yeah. down, nobody touches me. You know what I, I, I just found out was that he uh, used to coach the Browns. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was a Lions he was coach, too. Really? Coach. Yeah, he was, he was, coach, he was like an assistant me. with the Lions for a oh, minute, yeah. too. Yeah. That's crazy. Now we got fucking Matt and Patricia. He, didn't he, like, handpick Tom Brady, too? Or I, don't know, I don't know what the no, fuck. No, I think that. Uh, Sad thing is, name? Tom Brady came from Michigan and was Bledsoe. a sixth round pick, it and the Lions just like. dog shit, like, prospect, and now he's a goat. What is that bullshit? That's Belichick, dude. Yeah, that's fucking I want to wonder, Brady. like, what if, if it was could have been anybody else, I wonder. Or yeah, is it just Tom Brady? Ian. I'm just yeah. as fast as he is. That stuff's crazy. I man. guarantee I'm faster than Tom Brady. I bet you can't throw a football the way he does. <laughs> no, but I'm faster than him. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. I'm willing to challenge that, too. Nah, fuck that. I don't think Not you are faster than Tom Brady. faster than... Dude, yeah, he's probably. 50, no, the sad thing is, is he's these, 50 fucking years old, dude, bro. The, the sad thing I'm is these NFL quarterbacks... Tom Brady race me. Yeah. They're like, they're like, 
you know, they're I'm all talking shit about the they're all talking Brady. shit about like Stafford running. Dude, those linemen run like four eight four. Exactly. So. There's 300 pound men in the NFL that run faster than I do, and I weigh 160 pounds. Like but I'm saying, Tom Brady is not one of them. I want to see this. I do, Tom too. Brady. When you listen to the Montartica podcast, will you please? Dude, I've seen him run. You've seen him. Run. <laughs> oh <my> God, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I know I run better than that. I've seen you run, too. I think Tom Brady's faster. I'm faster than you. (laughs) I'm sure you are. Your legs take, like, fucking four steps to my one. I'm the fastest one in this room. Or I take four steps to your one. Usain like, Bolt. Yo, who bro. is the fastest uh, player in the NFL? You I might take that challenge. Tyreek Hill. You're the fastest Kill. one in this room. Yeah. That's Tyree what I was going to say. probably He's a beast. the fastest player in the league. Yeah. Lions got a dude that's in the four twos really? right now. Really? He's a rookie. Dude, it's but so fun he was the fat. He was the fastest play. guy out of the combine this yeah. year. They just, like, s- Yeah. Tyreek is crazy. I'm bummed you, he's injured, actually, man. Cause I'm not. Really Fuck the Chiefs. Yeah. Let them come to Detroit in another two Man. weeks, and we're going to beat their that ass. Homeboy. That L.A. and Chiefs game was one of the best things I ever got to watch, too, in my life. Like, that was so insane, dude. It was like 52 oh, to yeah. 50 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I bet that was yeah, sick. That, that made cool. everybody love the NFL. They're like, yeah. oh, they score every play. Yeah, yeah. and then you watch, another, you watch, like, the Browns versus the Dude, the, game. the Lions next two weeks is at the Eagles at home against the Chiefs. Yeah. We got the Browns next It'll Monday night. games. Or we might. Or maybe it's Thursday night. No, I don't Sunday know. Night. I Sunday the night. the way that the Lions work though, the way that they the way that they'll mind fuck their fans. Chiefs will come to town and we'll fucking wreck the Chiefs like forty to three, and then we'll go to like the next week against somebody shitty and Tampa like Bay. can't <laughs> fucking. Right. We throw four interceptions and. Yeah. That's Big Ben. He's good for one game every year with six picks. Like the past five years, there's been at least one game Just where he throws the, six well, can you fucking bet, I mean, picks. Dude, one season he threw eight interceptions and six of them were. Yeah, in but one you game. tell me out of sixteen no, Sundays, yeah. out of sixteen Sundays, you tell me you don't have a bad day on one of them. Dude, but that bad. I'm telling you, I got some bad days sometimes. <laughs> right. But and like, that, dude, a lot of it's the receivers too. Like you bobble a ball and the cornerback's on your gone. Ass, you yep. can grab it, no problem. Dude, yeah, it's today a, like, is a real thing. Our best corner, Darius Slay, was getting smoked all day long by Keenan Allen. Like not smoked, but like he was making catches. And he, he, Darius was tackling him. The whole time, I'm like, you contract holdout, motherfucker. Like I'm mad. Into the game, he intercepts one day, end it, and I'm like, "Fuck yeah!" That's big why you get some money. That's yeah, why you get some money. I'm, I'm yeah. so happy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's take another quick break. I gotta piss. For sure. All right. Well, uh, we're back, and we went hard on the NFL before there. So, like our female podcast listeners, I hope that we didn't lose. I'm, you. No, I'm not gonna say. I hope we didn't lose. I hope we converted you to being fucking fans. That's oh, great. and also, hey, not only is this shirt not to go back into the fucking, <laughs> not only go back into the NFL. But not only did I wear this shirt for the first fucking win and we're undefeated. Carol's always been a Raiders fan. She wore a Lions shirt today for me. Oh, Went and worked out in a Lions shirt. Could have been her. Could have been her. Every, every her Sunday you're wearing it. Could have been her. Yeah, she's shirt. fucking. Uh, you got no choice. You're going to work babe, out in that. Please wear the Lions shirt. <laughs> you can stick a finger it's in It's all my your butt. fault. <laughs> <laughs> See the Super Bowl? Like, you didn't, wor- you didn't work out in your Lions shirt. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyway, we, while we were on break, uh, Casey does still actually rap. He fucking. I still got it. He proved it. Something I still to got it. Us it was fucking. We're gonna pretty fireific. Sneak peek some shit here to end yeah. the podcast. Absolutely sucks. I, I definitely bummed out, man. I wish I definitely go longer, man. The whole reason I came here was to be on this podcast. Dude, no, let that me sounds tell like the me story right after the sex. First time, the first <laughs> right. I'm no. definitely bummed out. I wish I could have went longer. Yeah, I me too. <laughs> me too. Yeah. Just give me five minutes. <laughs> stick a jerky and some Powerade. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this. <laughs> this is a just dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, man. No, man, I'm going to have to try that if it works. <laughs> no. hey, hey, you got to get those <laughs> electrolytes. <laughs> protein. Get some protein. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. <laughs> I'm back in 10 instead of 15. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Like you're going well, what, for a marathon and you just take a break. What were you saying though? You said you want to tell a story. What? No, the first time I heard the song he's gonna sing, like it was while we were in Vegas and uh, it was that night that those guys went to the strip club without me and uh, I ended up walking around and meeting this homeless dude who raps. <laughs> <laughs> and like Wait. I didn't know where I was at, so I was like, "Do you know the flamingo?" Like he guided me. All I had to do was buy him a fucking 
fucking 40 at the gas station and he was and i bought him a pack of cigs and then yeah. from then on he's like my personal tour i love guide. this fucking story. we're like stopping to see all these like clicks of homeless dudes smoking joints <laughs> on the way back to the hotel he's like introducing me to all these guys they got their setup on this i'm not even really? joking yeah, they have, like, their shopping cart set up on the street, and we're, like, just chilling, <laughs> hanging out, having a good time. And they were cool dudes. They were really cool dudes. And uh, get back to the hotel room, and he's, like, trying to chill for a while because he's homeless. So, like, he's like, oh, I got my spot. You got there's towels? A, there's a bed here. Yeah. No one's here. And then, no, Jack shows up, and he's like, get the fuck out. Yeah. He's like, being, he's like, I'm oh. sorry. I'm drunk. He's, like, all hyped oh. up, just, like. Ah, uh, freaking out Whoa. in his tidy whities yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, hold on. Why yeah. were you alone in the motel room with a no, homeless dude. guy in his tidy whities No, we were just no. rapping. No, what happened? No, the hey, homeless guy. You were just rapping? <laughs> no, the tidy, homeless no. guy wasn't in his tidy whities no. My cousin yeah. came oh, here, just yeah. got in his, took his clothes off, <laughs> yeah. got in his tidy no. whities It was so He's funny. like, I'm going to bed. And he's like yeah. clapping his hands. He's like, I'm drunk. Uh, I thought you were saying the homeless guy is in your motel room in his tidy whities trying to get Jack out of there. <laughs> no, we we came back from the strip club and we walk in and we see him in there with this uh, with the guy and we're we're like I was all hype I was trying to talk to B and he's like yo rap for this dude real quick and I spit some bars and that's when he heard the song and then the security came told us to shut the fuck up but Jack <laughs> it was that good yeah, yeah. no like Jack security Jack shut the was, shit down yeah. Jack was in the shower and uh, and so as soon as Jack what? gets out the shower he comes out in his underwear. And he's like, just like flexing. And he's like, get the fuck out. Or I'm go going to bed. bed. I'm going to but bed. What was so funny <laughs> was that me and my friend were so scared of him that me and him actually laid yeah, down Casey, and went that bad. Casey, <laughs> Casey and his friend fucking get in their pajamas and lay down. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, I was like, I'm chilling. Yeah. I'm like rolling a blunt on the table. Yeah. I'm like, I'm smoking this. Fuck you. Oh I was like, you're not telling God. me what to do. And Casey's just like, all right, we're going to bed. Fucking lays down in the bed. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Yeah. Like, How did? <laughs> yeah, I know. But no, so that you're was right. Like, you're right. Dude, you're right, buddy. Casey's, I am gonna go to sleep now. Casey, yeah. Casey did that song though, and I was like, damn, that is fucking good. Yeah. Like, what are we doing? Why are we sitting on this talent? Like, uh, fucking I know. show people. You yeah, know? I was telling them because like, you won't even give them real glasses after you're talking to them. No, fuck, right? No, I'm, if I'm, you guys could see, like, I, I think I got a good enough picture to depict oh, it. Oh shit. We, but I'm telling you, Casey is in here with his glasses. Brandon, he stays one night in Malta, and Brandon's dog eats dude, Casey's glasses hours. out of his yeah. shoes. Casey yeah. puts his glasses in his shoes with his hat on top of his shoes to protect his glasses because he's that blind and that reliant yeah. on them. <laughs> and my dog fucking smelling it. He's obsessed with socks, and he's yeah. just a fucking weirdo. And... You know, he's just... They always say dogs are a lot like their owners. Getting on it. Yeah, I'm a weirdo, too. <laughs> getting, all, getting all in Casey's shoe, finds yeah. his glasses, just destroys him. <laughs> Bro, I'm like... I'm, you know what? Just he, bits and pieces he can't of his see glasses to drive, all over the living room. He can't see like, to drive back. He'll stay. Yeah, yeah, right. And I was just like, oh, man. I know part of me feels so like now he came out and just here. grabbed my glasses. And like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just sitting there mashing up Casey's glasses with a hammer. Having a glasses mashing party. So anyway, if you could see Casey, he's got another yeah. frame of glasses with his lenses. He's got his Literally cyborg two, together. Two rubber bands on each lens holding his lenses on to his a, glasses. To a different set of frames yeah. that we pop yeah, the yeah, lenses do what you gotta do, man. Dude, I just want to go home. I don't know why, you, I I don't know why you'd ever get self-conscious if you're man enough to wear that. Dude, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Dude, you're Yo, a champ. I got that BDE, so you're like, fucking ain't nobody going to fuck with me. But, like, at the same time, it was rough because there, I wanted to come back. And, like, even that one song I was showing y'all, I was like, yo, I want to come back and flex. And this was the opposite of flex. I came back in a rented car, and my glasses are fucked right now. So Day one, he comes Dude, back. No, with- the funny <laughs> thing about the rented car, though, is, too, he walks into Kid Curry, and he's like, first of all, yeah. I didn't even, like, Wrecking, like I was like in the middle. I was in work mode, so yeah. I was like walking back to the counter, and I like bump into him. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, man. And then I like look. I'm like, oh, motherfucker, you scared the shit out of me because yeah. like he just popped out of nowhere and like shoulder checks me. I'm like, who the fuck? I didn't see you sneak in either until you I were like, like right like, there. He's like, who yeah. do I gotta yell at to get a drink? <laughs> I was in the same. I'm like just working, Dude, working. Work mode, yeah. And I'm like, who the fuck is shoulder checking me at work? I was like kind of <laughs> mad about it. And then I look up. I'm like, oh shit, what's yeah. up, dude? Like give him a hug real quick. Oh, you rent a car to get here? But where's your car at? Like, yeah. go outside. And he's like, yeah, check it out. And I walk around. It's fucking Chrysler 3 on there. And I'm like, just instantly start fucking dying yeah. laughing. Because we were, 
I own a Chrysler 300, and that's like Get off that's my why nuts, it was buddy. so funny because uh, like uh, we would record his music videos in the back seat of my car yeah. and shit. Like, and wait a minute, we should pause the podcast and just pull that out back and record a video. Right. Right. Yeah, no, see, right. yeah, we should record a music video Part in your Chrysler, right. bro. That know. would be gas. That'd be crazy. But <laughs> no, so anyway, it was just fucking so funny yeah. to come outside the 2019 Chrysler 300. I'm nice, like, oh, man. damn. It's really nice. They are nice cars, dude. I don't yeah. give a dude, shit what anybody so says. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Those things are fucking comfortable road cars, shit. so good. Comfortable yeah. as shit. Yeah, no, I'm Those really excited. Sweet ass cars. For sure. No, and it was a long drive, man, but it made it a little better. The seats are a little uncomfortable, but like, yeah, it was super dope. And I didn't really mean to get a Chrysler. Like, it wasn't like a. No, yes, you did. He's did you did see the, like, the fucking red the car the he was no, driving no. here before he left? And he just yeah. said, those seats are uncomfortable. I sold yeah. him that red I know. Car. <laughs> uh, yeah. Was that Chelsea's old car? It was uh, Shannon uh, Salisbury's. Was it Chelsea's before that? No, I don't think so. It's the Honda be. Civic? Had to be. Chelsea. Has to I be. didn't know you get pussy in the Civic. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. That guy's a child molester too. Yeah. Yeah. So this chick, what? Won't put her. <laughs> this really went south. Yeah, too mad. Dude, no. So yeah. me and Casey What's both smash this chick, and then she's like trying to like make us feel bad, and bringing this out of town dude around. Who's like a diesel dick, fucking. <laughs> oh, I got the fucking cones. Burr, burr, burr. Uh. And he's like, we go out to the bars, and like burr, he had, burr, burr. he like heard. He's like mad because he knew that we had already been there so yeah. he's like got something to prove a chip on his shoulder and he's like talking shit about i didn't know you could get pussy in a fucking civic and yeah. he like he didn't know i had the 300 i yeah. was just driving the honda civic around everywhere yeah. and uh fucking turns out two weeks later we find out this dude's on the sex offender list in oh, north yeah. dakota bro yeah. and we're like you're fucking around Child Yo. what is this shit? You know, the funny thing is, is though, is like after that, we wanted to set up our homeboy with the same girl, and we're like, Yo, if we could just like some dog shit, yeah, if we could do this, like it'll be like it'll, I don't know why this is important to us. But, like, we go, we're like, yo, let's let's make this happen. And so we, like, we get them, they're talking, they're feeling each other, and we finally get her to come pick him up. They're drunk, and we're like, Yo, man, go do your thing. I run into her the next day. She says he walks in her house, right? Because we're like, yeah, you got this in the bag. He grabs a blanket and throws it on the floor because she was, like, needing help, like, moving into this new place. Throws a blanket on the floor and is, like, what's up? And she's like, yo, you need to get the fuck out of my house, <laughs> <you know? laughs> I felt so bad, man. I felt so bad for my homie, man. Poor dude. Oh, that'd be embarrassing. Yeah, that'd I, be I'm, rough. Like, when is that the move? When is that, there's, like, Yeah, there's know? never... I was just thinking in my head. Yeah. I was like, there's never been a point in my yeah. life that I walked in, like... You might as well just whip it out and be like, hey, Bam. Right. You know? No way. No, there's not, yeah, like... This is, like, what I was saying at the bar the other night. Like, I'm watching these pool players play pool, and there's, like, old-ass 50-some-year-old bitches still think it's a move to whip out their tits and rattle the dude playing pool against yeah. them. Yeah. I go... If that guy turns around and whips out his dick, he's on the sex offender for fucking real. list right, for the rest real. of his yeah, life. Yeah. I go, but you can flop out a nasty ass tit on the edge of the fucking pool table and try to make him miss a fucking eight ball. Fucking gray hair but this guy can't. Oh, I'm telling ball. you, like this shit that you see, it's terrible. I know. I know. I, that's, <laughs> yeah. And it's never anybody that should be proud of it. Like, but the thing is, but they are. Like I said, if it was, if that was the other way around, if that's a man, and he yeah. just flops his cock on the yeah. side of the pool table, it's literally. He has four sex charges by the time he walks out of the bar that night. Mm -hmm. How many times has that actually worked for y'all when you're with a girl and you're just like, you know what, I'm going to just send it and I'm going to see the reaction. Uh -uh. You know what I mean? Is it like one of those things where it's like, I, I, I don't know. Once. I mean, I guess I don't know. Yeah. How, I did it once. It yeah. worked. I guess I don't know how hard full send is. Cause I mean, but that's, like I knew it was consensual. Well, not just, not yet. Yeah, no, she not was randomly. Into it. I'm like, not saying like, like out of nowhere, just like do it. it. I'm saying when you're with a chick and you're like feeling it and you don't know if you could take it to that like next level cause you're like making out or something and then just doing it. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying just randomly like go up and like, Hey, what's up? You know, no, there's plenty of times no. that I just open the shower door and like, I'm getting in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like that, you know? I, I've actually done it quite a bit, and it actually has worked, like, a lot. Like, that's a lot. That's what I'm saying. You my first three-way, that's how I did it. I was nice just like, hey, man, I'm going to put it on the table, and what y'all want to do with it depends on you. <laughs> I'm going to put it on the table. <laughs> Yo. If you'd like to. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, facts, man. And it worked, man. And it was. It Anymore, was... it's like, please sign this form. Yeah, yeah for no real. shit. Yeah, I know, it's, it's like, 2019. You got to get you know? a video, like, yeah. do you want to have sex with me? Yeah. Right. There's no even, like, face, there's man. no back and forth flirting. Like, if, yeah. it, you see... NFL players being get hit with it, and I mean, vice versa. They sign sure non-disclosures, though. But like for real, when you uh, 
Which like is you, where I'm trying to be. You I'm tell me like, that you've never hit on a girl, and the first time you hit on her, she went, no. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. That's but if that's the one text, okay, so, on so you're going to the bar, and you're like, hey, we're going to do this? And she says, no, text. You show up at the bar, and then you're, everybody's all on to each other, and you're into it. That was a joke text, whatever. Right. Yeah. Boom shakalaka, you're in the fucking clink tomorrow because oh. she sent you a no that wasn't a like that, wasn't that was not a hard no. no. Yeah. You know, like and not that's what it is too. Like even fucking Dave Chappelle's special where he's like yeah. what, what's he saying? Where he's like, Ooh, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Where you like, yeah. you know what I mean? They're down. Yeah. But yeah, that's, it, it that's is rough. there's gotta be a different times, move. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm not saying it's yeah. rapey at all, but like yeah. you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's a and like there is no girl that you like the first time that you see her like can I kiss you? If you she gotta, says if she goes let's do it, that bitch is a whore. No. Usually, you know, yeah. like you had to try harder than that to land the good one. Yeah. For real. 100%. And it's like and it's always a game even like just to get that first kiss and then the next step is even more no. Yeah, yeah. no. There's yeah, a reason no, they call yeah. them bases. It's just like yeah, fucking baseball. It's hard. It's yeah. fucking strategy. Yeah. You hit singles all night. Yeah. You eventually you want to double. Yeah, you like, like crack it. the code and it's really hard too. But like here in Malta, it's, it's really not that hard to crack the shit. code and some of these Grab by the pussy. Well, not when you rap like you yeah. do, Casey. Yeah. I mean, I get exactly. that. Exactly. Try being a short redheaded kid like yeah. I was. I must have caught Carol on a bad day. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> do what I got to do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to cast it out, man. What don't matter. You did something right. <laughs> For real. Facts. Yeah, I don't know. I usually Ginger's just the real one percenters. my way into the pussy. Same. Like, I, like straight up. I'm not going to be that hot guy throwing off the vibe at the end of the bar. I'll usually. Like, I got to laugh. Gotta laugh. I got to pants. Like, that's where I usually get them. <laughs> oh, you pissed your pants, honey. Yeah. I got an extra pair at home. Speaking That's where he gets them. Pants. Oh, what are we going to talk about? Now? Casey rapping, right? right? Yeah. He Let's wants to throw down a song. I know that. Clubbing. Well, yeah, but I, I want to make sure that uh, we'll, we can end it with the song. Uh, but, oh, I mean, if we're ready. This is the end if you play it? Yeah. That's it. Well, you gotta like well, drop the mic and walk off. No, no, let's talk a little bit. Yeah, it's on the mic stand. You can't drop the mic and walk off. Let's do it now. I mean, I could sign off, but like. No, we ain't signing off. Here, oh, you're about right. to get an exclusive Yarvin gang. Yeah, if you do one, then facts. I mean, gang, you, gang. you guys got to... Right. We're about to show you something. Everybody? Yo, if you made it this far, you he got probably has He debuted this movies. to me yeah. in front of a homeless Yo. man. While my cousin <laughs> is bitching. <laughs> it is Sunday. <laughs> we got some truth. And I stopped. I shut it all down. And then he went to <laughs> bed. <laughs> hey, homeless guy, shut the fuck up. This is yeah. fire. No. I, that's what I was telling. He <laughs> was actually a good rapper, yeah. too. Like, no Dude, joke. some of them all that chain I gave you. What? Yeah, remember no, the chain No, he's rapping and has a chain. The one with the plug on it? Yeah, he hyped that from us. I'm pretty yeah. sure. You I level mean, him up. You don't yeah. have it, do you? No, I do. You do? I got the plug. Really? Yeah. Oh, where? I, I got I stole the plug. It. It's in my bathroom Because right I now. found his chain. He left a chain. It was fake, though. And so I was like, yo, I bet you he, like, came in with this fake chain. No, nah, I got the real. plug. I'll show you. Oh, word? I thought, okay. I thought, he, I thought he jacked it that night. No. Nah. Okay, word. He was legit, dude. I can't yeah. remember. Or, what the fuck was yeah. his name? D-Mac. Dude, there was so yeah. many of them in Vegas. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember that. That's if crazy. you walk around Vegas, like, you'll pull up to a dude that's like, hey, I dropped my mixtape. And pretty soon he starts... Dude, yeah. he was rapping like, like yeah, Brandon did yeah. to me at fucking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the first time I, dude, honestly, I was like Travis. I, I he's like, like, I can do this. I can do this. Check this out, man. And like, he, dude, he got it too. Pop the beat off the chest. But that's what you get in Vegas. Like, you'll walk up to well, guys that are trying. Like, at I just some point too. If you don't have like a little something extra to add to your words, it's just falling on deaf ears. It's like, how does this even play together? Where's this? Yeah, yeah and where do you do it the first time? You know, yeah. like that's that. Dude, I when I first decided I liked it, I went. You know, I don't. I just just want to do dive into everything. But anyway, same. I have forty seven hobbies, and yeah. I'm mediocre at all of them. That's what. If we could be good at one thing, I know. Guys, like, if we could just knock it out of the park on one thing. Yeah. Like Casey's about to do uh, this. Oh, oh, he's about to rap. No. Yo. 
You know this shit get loud So why you all on my live? FaceTime with your girlfriends Talking about my life, uh Got you fucking up the vibe, eh Think I'm drunk enough to drive, eh Always claiming you a bad hoe Then why you fucking in the ride, eh I ain't even get her high, yeah Leave her hanging out to dry, yeah Got the Gucci with a rhinestone Cause money coming out to dry, yeah Bust down, beat up First class, beat up Big smoke, free love Fuck this, beat up I been dealing with aggression Handful of antidepressants Fuck is up with all these questions Piss him off with a presence Snow white, no presence Yo tight, no preference No tight, no preference Whole night, whole breathless And then we just need a hook yeah. And a chorus That's yeah. you, We're, I was waiting for yeah. you to hit it Hey, I've, I'm retired Yeah. No, I got a chorus Not actually, I just say I want to I'm about to come out of retirement yeah. I got some stuff yeah. Atta boy Yeah Attaboy. And yeah. just being around Casey just makes me want to rap. Makes you want to do harder. It just I makes me want to rap, dude. Yeah. And, like, I know it sounds so corny with three white dudes in my opinion. It's shown in a garage <laughs> right now, say, but... If I didn't dude, have that, if I didn't I have that feeling, if I didn't have that feeling in the back of my head, like, you're a corny yeah, white right. old dude. Like, dude, you know, I, I would be out there just pushing into like, everyone, <laughs> pedaling, yeah. pedaling, Throwing hooks pedaling. left and right. Well, that's but, the thing, too, is, like, with me, is, like, it, it's really hard, because, like, when I was living here, and I was, like, actually about that life, and like doing all the stuff I was actually rapping about, it's like, yeah, you could walk around with a lot of confidence and a big head, but then like when I'm in Boise and I'm going through what I'm going through in that situation, and it's like, and just working, and I'm working, five, yeah, grinding, I'm doing grinding, like, I'm grinding, doing the legal money, I'm doing like, like doing I'm right. behaving the laws. You can't rap about that life because you're not doing. I mean, that no, life, you, you know can I mean? though, when you think about it too, because yeah, it's like I've done a it, mindset. Yeah. No, and then like not only that, but it's like, dude. When you boil it all down, you've been through some fucked up shit, yeah. dude. And those are the best rappers. Yeah. Those are the best artists. Those are like so, the best yeah, people. Like, dude, so it's the comedians, best people. anything, artists, yeah. rappers, what like, they all had either pain yeah, or like dude, grievance or like, something one way or another. Dude, if life's just a smooth ride for you, like you ain't gonna step out of your shell yeah, and even well. try to make some. Or shit it, like that. or it was a guy that like. You see some of them that had it perfect and they didn't want that perfect life and they just and went to find a way to fuck it up yeah. Yeah. just to be there. But no, and, and it's rough, man, because, like, that's the thing is, like, wh- I went there and, like I said earlier, I was just in such an angry mood and I was like, yo, I don't want to, like, make some trash music, you know? And then I, I was like, let me get out of my funk. Let me, like, find myself. And then Dude, I, and I was telling yeah. him, too, because yeah. he was saying this shit to me, like, yeah. and I was like, bro, honestly, like, this is when you should be doing yeah. it, like, right all, remember yeah. this shit, because, like, dude, exactly. well, they're going like, through some shit. Your well, hardest times are when the good stuff comes out. Going Same. Through some well, shit. then that's and, the like, thing, too, People though. that are going through shit, it's like, those are the people you want to, like, vibe with you and yeah. click with it, because it's like... Dude, you're gonna help them get through the same shit you're going through. So in turn, they're gonna be loyal as fuck to you as a yeah. fan base. It's like a mm-hmm. niche, like a fucking yeah. click. Well, it, it's hard though too because like when you do that, and then like with everything that I just went through like recently, like if I, the first time anyone had heard from me in two years, like when I went from Till I Die, that video that got a bunch of views in Tulsa, to when I did like the American Nightmare with B, I took a year and a half break. And I got more followers. I got more fans mm-hmm. in that one video. And it, but it was because I came back and and showcased my talent. But if I came back now and then I wrote like a really deep song talking about stuff like that, that's not something someone's gonna want to play and then share after that because it's not gonna be a banger. It's gonna be dude. You but know, I'm telling you, music come music comes from the sky though, dude. Like too, yeah. Music comes from the sky when it hits you and like the right rhythm. Like it's so tough to predict. Yeah. I mean, like, being able to write all the time, but, but you never know when that one fucking yeah. little rhythm or hook's going to fucking drill you, and then you're yeah. like, all right, all right yeah. that's the one. And it, and it could be... It, most of the time it is when you're going through some sort of it's shit. Emotion, Do you yeah. actually got you some sort of emotion to let loose one way or another? Yeah. Whether it's like, sadness or happiness or whatever, but there's not... like, And that's part of the deal, too, is not many people write a song. I mean, like, sure, a rap song, I guess if you're writing it on the happy end, you're talking about, I got a Benz, I got a, whatever it yeah. is. yeah. But Which not not ma- I know, but not many muse or not many versions of music. The good ones come that aren't just straight pop music, that are I guess you know like cool with the masses. The time without having ones. some sort of a fucking problem to right. them. Right, the ones that you'll play ten years later. Exactly, and it's like, 
That's real. And you're right. Like that's it's got a hit. And it's, that's and that's even why country, dude, the is the same way. It's emotion, like, yeah. like yeah. And that's why I think a lot of people did relate with me, like when I did release those songs, and especially that first one when I was uh, uh, the American Nightmare when uh, it was in B's car and I had that red. That was the biggest one, and I think people really like liked it a lot because I'm like one of those rappers where, you know, like you said earlier, like yeah, we're a bunch of like dudes like in Montana, but like I. You can tell everything I say. I'm not like gonna exaggerate. And you're a student no. of the but, game. And you I'm can not, tell yeah. it because you like appreciate lyricism and like yeah, like crafting yeah, exactly. rhymes. Like yeah. it's, it's it's like punchlines and and you can tell the difference from somebody who's up there like trying hard. All life, yeah, you know, yeah, trying hard. And then someone yeah who actually means it. And I think like at first people were like, yeah, there's no way. But like I don't I give say a shit who it is though. Like no matter who you are, and as long as you are into it, yeah, or you're trying. As long as you keep trying, then you're about that. Like, uh, yeah. everybody sucks when you start. Yeah, yeah. Look at all these. The Dude, most nobody's nobody's first one came out and was like out doing shows for ten people, bro. There's and so like, many people that get famous between and like me and Travis. I guarantee you, we can get you on stage. Dude, there's so bro. many people that came out Dude, I gotta that move like that suddenly get yeah. famous. And everybody's like, oh, they were the one hit one or they made it. And they're like, no, dude, they've been grinding in Nashville for 15, fucking 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. years yeah. bro. Exactly. And exactly. dude, think about it. How long have you been rapping? Yeah, a long time. Four years. How long? Oh, like, probably my whole life. Like, besides, like, I started rapping when I was, like, in first grade. Right. So, like, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, like, you got, like, and when you think he about just graduated eight, so too, yeah. it's like, uh, think about some of the shit we've done and been through, bro. Like, no I shit. I guarantee you, I guarantee you it's... Just as dangerous, just as reckless, just yeah. as stupid as all the other people yeah. popping off. Yeah. And why is that? Like I said, there's a song that I got. Uh, it's like they that, get put on a pedestal as a superhero. There's, there's one lyrics that I've got that uh, in one of my. It's a guitar song, but it's why is it cool to be down? Why is melancholy the new frown? Like it's it, like why is it? Why is that always the fucking thing that people are gonna listen to? Is like. Yeah. They, the, the, sad the crushing shit. sad yeah. fucking. Yeah. Sad boy Lost my vibes, life story, bro. like yeah. even rock, no matter what it is. But that's like like we were talking. That's where, well, dude, it's music like, hits, dude. Yeah. Is is the like the deep fucking emotion that yeah. you, was, you was, turn to music for emotion, yeah. yeah. And like, dude, the crazy thing is too is like, I don't, I don't know the exact number, but it's like you can basically describe human life in like twelve emotions, and only two of them are positive. So it's like mm-hmm. uh, fucking learn to deal with the negative shit and well. just fucking take the highs when you get them. I was listening to uh, one of the other. If, you're right. If you didn't have the negatives, you'd never right. have a high. You can be like happy and ex- like, I was like, if if I was an actual fact checker and had my shit on point, I could explain this better. But it's like basically maybe next point, episode we'll yeah. have your fucking iPad out here. Yeah, I have to drive back all the way to fucking. <laughs> I'll get a new cord. <laughs> <laughs> no. Driving a cord this time, they're cheaper and nobody cares. There you go. <laughs> <Just> no, no. <laughs> I, well, no, that's yeah, people that's do care. That's the weird it's thing. It's like no, I did. I I rented a, just a normal like random like cheap ass car, and I swear to God, I walked up. I went to check in. I went to get the car, and she's like, "Hey, by chance, would you be interested in three hundred? And I was like, "Yep." And I like I mean, I was like, "Yeah, absolutely, for sure." How I'll much? Take that one. Yeah, it was it was weird, man. It was like it was mid- dude. It's nice as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is, so dude. Nice. You can tell when you drive by. They're, they're a fucking remade Bentley is what they are. Like that's plates and he's staying at my house. It's like, what kind of cocaine dealer are you? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm going to get pulled over on fucking my way Fucking New out. Orleans like, trap star all yep. the way up in the highway. I was thinking about it and I was like, man, because I really... Casey actually it. passed through thinking... the first three rentals and was like, you got any Louisiana plates? Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> that, no, I was thinking too. Was like, I'm going back to lay down a song, Every dude. time we drove by a cop too, I'm just like, they're probably like, what in the fuck is this shit? You know what I mean? Like, because it's small town Montana. Like, there's no Yeah, but it's small town Montana. And then you see his face, and then you're like, oh yeah, shit! Right? No, that's the thing too. Like, there is no sus shit about it. No, it's not just, at all. It's yeah. just funny. Well, I was just Fuck thinking that. though, like when I was like driving it, I was like, if I get pulled over, I'm getting searched immediately. <laughs> that's what I told oh, you. I'm I'm it's like you got the drug yeah. dealer whip yeah. and fucking the way I look. You know, I'm, uh, I'm like, yo, I'm getting searched. Like, so I like, yeah, I made sure not to bring like anything like that would get me in trouble with me. So I, I like, don't know if anybody would be brave enough to search. The guy with the fucking rubber bands on his glasses. Yeah, now, <laughs> right now, yeah, like, now, now like, this the guy is crazy. Yeah. Uh, I'll be like, Go license registration, please. Yeah. 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 I'll let you go if you let me go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me on your list. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. 
Uh, dude, sorry to make fun. No, but no, it was so rough last night. So because, you, know, awesome. because, like, you can't make this shit up. That's like the, the truth. <laughs> I'm just glad we made some work. Yeah. Me too. I, dude, yeah. he was trying to go out without his glasses. I was like, dude, I'm not gonna be introducing <laughs> you to everybody you fucking know all night, bro. I was like, no. I was like, You're let him run into stuff, <laughs> dude. He didn't, dude. He was four feet from my mom and didn't even talk to her because he didn't know who the fuck yeah. she was. <laughs> You're I that blind, huh? Well, yeah, like so am I yeah, too. Like the Harms has called me, and if you guys are listening to this, like, man, I'm lucky so me. Sorry. I'm gonna keep reading those because posters. Because I went over there, there and I just couldn't, like, I couldn't see anybody's face. You know, like I got their height, so I can. Definitely Shit, all you Harms is look the same. No, you girl or boy? It was just, um, but then, <laughs> and like, even then, I can't tell. But his mom is sitting. She's sitting right in front of me, and I'm like sitting there talking. And all of a sudden, she's like, "Casey, I'm so sorry about Jax." And I was like, "What? Oh my god, that's Brandon's mom!" And I didn't even get to say <laughs> hi to her. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh my," because I thought it was just some random person. I was like, oh, this is awkward. <laughs> Dude, and that's so stressful too. Like when you I don't, I've when never you had to, rely on man, contacts or glasses, some wood. and you I've don't never. have them, it is so rough. You get so stressed Fuck. out, and you just get pissed. No. That's got me so worried. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and do eye exercises. Like, I can't fucking see shit right now. And yeah. you like, I remember one time I chewed Sergeant's ass at school because I had one contact in, and we were playing kickball, and I had no depth perception. <laughs> <laughs> and like this ball came like right at me, and I jumped, and it like fucking was. 80 feet above me, dude. <laughs> like, not even in the near realm. And he started talking shit. And I was like, motherfucker, what? Yeah. I was like, I only got my left contact in right yeah. now. And I, like, go up to him and, like, show him my right eye. I'm like, I can't see shit. And I, like, went and put my clothes on. I was like, fuck you. I ain't playing kickball, bitch. Like, so mad. So mad. It, it's, like, one of those things, too. Like, fuck there, you, there's that kickball. Yeah, yeah, fuck kickball. There's that, uh, there's that meme on Facebook that says, like, yo, you ever turn down the radio to see where you're going in the car. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. This is a real and thing. If you're backing thing. up, yeah. and that fucking, like, I'll jump in the car with Carol, yeah. and I'm like, if I'm backing up and the kids are yelling, the fucking music is blaring, I'll turn it down. It's like, Shut why'd you turn my song down? I'm like, I'm backing up. Yeah. Well, like, that didn't affect your vision. The <laughs> right. fuck it didn't. I'm yeah. like, it affected my psyche. It's I don't trying know to what find you're... the number on the house, <laughs> turn the radio all the way down the little window. <laughs> yeah. Got your head out the fucking window. <laughs> but it's the same. It's it's, 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 a, it's the same when it's opposite though. Like when I don't have my glasses, like I can't hear, man. I like I have a real hard time like just it's dealing rough. with everything, man. So like, if it's we like, take away your glasses, you can't even dude, rap anymore. It's like a bat in broad daylight. <laughs> like it's straight rough, up. Man. It sucks. That bad, man. I uh, thank you for my good vision. Yeah, whoever yeah, made my no, good vision. I can't wait till I get LASIK. Yeah. Jeez Louise. For real. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, and of course, it's just like his luck. Too, I'm glad bro. to know it's that like, he's driving somewhere and somebody gave yeah. him a car to do so. Yeah. Yeah. With yeah. rubber banded glasses. Yeah. What happens if he hits a bump and one of those fucking rubber bands snaps? Dude, now he'll be crying his <laughs> way back to Boise. Dude, 35 on the interstate. But no, this That's is That's a bold it, move, putting some fucking teeth rubber bands that close to your eyeballs. Yeah, yeah dude. You think that could be like a problem, too? <laughs> I hope he worries about it the whole yeah. way back to Idaho. <laughs> Fuck you. Put some new rubber bands you know what? on them. Those ones lasted this long. Just get I made some it to have her. I'm so worried about these rubber bands, I'm turning back. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. I'm going dude, back to Malta. Hey, man. Fuck it. That's the reason he stays in Malta. I'll take your car back. No, man, it, it was really dope, though. To, to be There's able to a come back fucking here, social distortion concert two days from now in Missoula. Oh, wow. Do we just take the car, hit it, go yeah. drop it off? He can stay here. <laughs> Casey's staying. Fuck that. What noise. would it take to get you back here, realistically? Uh, realistically, honestly. That hot girl from Vegas. No. I'll get her here. No. <laughs> Once me and B start making moves, like right now, we got our own little, like, side side moves going on. But I think once me and him both, like, do what we're trying to do, I think if me and him were to link up, and, and like, cause what was so funny is like two years ago, me and him, our focus was a hundred percent different. Like we were really, we were not too much younger, obviously, but like our mindset was just like girls, self pleasure and like, you know, anything else. Debauchery. But now, but now we, we're like, our, well, dude, our you mindset were, you're, you're young, you're still in your twenties. That's what like, yeah. I ain't even hit my If you're not, yet. if you yeah. haven't found your girl or your anything in your twenties and you're no. still doing like that. What yeah. white I think male me and him is both, in that? Yeah. Both like multiplied our like income in the past two years by almost three to four times. Like me and like when what we he was making four, two years we ago is definitely tripled. What I was making two years ago is definitely tripled. And like yeah, if I think we had the same mindset and we were together, it would be it'd be crazy. But I think we'd also. I think what he's saying is he's moving back. Yeah. 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 See. Yeah. That's legit. Dude, I mean, he just said yeah. Dude. 
I mean, yeah. the well, casino's hiring, bro, and yeah. I could get So is the job. GM. Go get the GM yeah. job, dude. You'll have the you weekend got, fucking bartending job, job at the GM. And yeah. make tons of money. I'll meet rent the right a people. spot with you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll it's rent like a we spot start making spots like that happen. Or like Listen, if like you that, move back and it gets Brandon move out of his parents' house, that's yeah. a fucking win-win. I, know, right? I ain't ever moving out. This is a one exception. I'm going to live up here until my parents die, and then I'm going to move to the basement. No, here's my game plan. Let's read Pancras. My little sister graduates in two years, and my parents are trying to get the fuck out so I'm like I'm trying to buy the house cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's my like, it's a nice house and dude I mean not really when you think about it cause fucking it's dumb for one like tax wise cause it's on like two Corner, and a half lots yeah, and, and big. like way too big and nobody's trying to like what family do you know that's got you know what I mean there's like, like four uh, families in Malta that have as many family are that members big. as you and then on top of that it's like nobody's trying to pay what is even fair for the price of the house because there's no opportunity here in a sense unless you're doing shit like this where you're creative enough you gotta creative hit the rest of the world to make opportunity you gotta hit the rest of the world yeah and it, like honestly I've thought about all sorts of weird shit like just fucking Buying a shipping container, same. turn it into a house for twenty grand, and just I get that little cabin place. Same my whole thing, like life. yeah, throw a fucking yeah, like throw a couple of fucking four hundred dollar a month fucking rigs up there. Anyway, let's take a quick break, and then we'll come back and finish this fucker out. I think Casey probably has at least another song in him. Yeah. Well, no, Walmart. I just gotta get see you. Don't. All right, well, we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're back. <laughs> The, the, sometimes the best part about the Montreal podcast is the fucking breaks. Is yeah. it gets pretty funny. It takes and, seven and honestly, hours to do a three hour. Yeah, it does, sometimes. but like it's so tough because those moments are so inappropriate for the fucking yeah, yeah. rest of the podcast. It'd be crazy though if you did have like recordings. You still got to talk into your mic, Casey. The, if you had recordings of the actual like the breaks, man. You're still not even on your mic. <laughs> do you not hear me? Carol, Carol just called me and told me it's loud, and it is late on a Sunday. Evening, yeah, and I'm sorry anybody that lives next to you. <laughs> yes, there's a reason that this it's far enough away from most people. But yeah, sorry for being loud. It, well, we're you, not here's banging the, on the drums. We, so. yeah, <laughs> we're we've really toned it down from the days of playing yeah. the drums. Dude, <laughs> I don't play the fucking drums, but when I come in here, I would play the fucking drums. <laughs> Trust me, it was way too fucking How do you loud. just set up some drums and not play them at 2 a.m.? <laughs> yeah. Everybody's you drunk, <laughs> and we're all taking turns just fucking banging on the drums as loud as we can. <laughs> oh, Sorry, anybody that's not part of the party. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's too bad. That's gold. Though. Anyway, Casey, <laughs> you got another one? Um, I, probably I know could. you do. I know you got another one. Because like he, so. he wants to end it worse than we do, so. Yeah. yeah. He's he wants to end it. Bed. He wants to end it worse than He's Carol wants us to end it right now. I know. Don't drive twelve hours tomorrow. Drive to Aver and turn around, and come back. Slashes Reynolds tires. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he would freak He's the fuck out. out, dude. <laughs> Just take his glasses. He won't know what actually happened. <laughs> Jack's shoes <laughs> on him again. <laughs> this time, just nothing left. Oh man, that I'm was sorry ba- to laugh at your misfortune. <laughs> I know. It's <laughs> <laughs> like the little brother that Misfortune's the best to laugh at though. Like I can't even it's so funny. Like Dude, no him bringing up like funny. podcast number four. I'm like, man, the difference of <laughs> how far we've come. Yes. I mean I haven't even made it that far myself, but how far I've came from what that was a couple years ago. It's so funny to see your growth. And I keep rattling this beer can around like I should take a drink of it. Oh, he found a beat. He's been looking down like he yeah. knows he's going to get one. Yeah. All right, hold on. Might talk some shit in this one. No. <laughs> it's okay. He'll mumber rap. I won't be able to understand it. Oh, no. no, I'm kidding. All right, let's go, Case. No. Right. Yarvin. Oh, wait, no, you got Do I got to If you're using that one, Sorry. make sure, hey, look at your mic that you have is directional in front. There you go. No, put your speaker right in front of it, wherever your speaker is. There you go. Plug just caught the wit off my budget. Lit the strip with the click, but like fuck it. I need mention top ten like them buttons. Knew this little youngin get a job pushing buttons. Yeah, I was bustin', now I'm buzzin'. I got all these hoes fussin' and they fuckin'. I was nothing, now I'm nothin'. I ain't do this shit for nothing. Bag abundant, y'all redundant. Ooh, fuck, I fucked that one up. Sorry. It's okay, we're on Yo. the podcast. You but, can have a redo. Yeah. yeah. Here, restart it for him. Restart it for him. It's worth it. 
get it again. You can just add it that right. straight out. Or we can leave it and people yeah. know how the fucking work goes when in. When it drops, you can't be talking. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, if all we right. don't have an intro to that was, this one. That was my fault. Let me say some... <laughs> oh, get it, Flavor Flav. All right, here we go. No. The plug just got the wit on my budget. Lit the strip with the clip, but like, fuck it. I need mention top 10 like I'm buttons. Knew this little young and get a job pushing buttons. Yeah, I was busting, now I'm buzzing. I got all these hoes fussing, then they fucking. I was nothing, now I'm nothing. I ain't do this shit for nothing. Bag abundant, y'all redundant. Y'all look happen when I done it. Nice watch, homeboy, now run it. Ooh, fuck. All right, well, yeah. Dude. That's my new shit. A little preview. <laughs> that is bouncy as a mother. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Atta boy. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Nah, man, it was really great to be Dude, come back Dude, explore that home. flow more. Yeah. Like, fuck yeah, yeah, that is sick. No, I'll talk about it, hello. And finish something, Casey. I know, man, you can't I know. just have 15 seconds of the dopest I got shit. the greatest intros alive. Yeah, bro, I got 30 seconds of well, like just I said, melt your face. Well, dude, you'll be surprised how many Listen, times... Listen, that like, was my game when I met Carol. I was like, I got 30 seconds of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. Like, B is definitely, like, like my, it. like... The call of I'm like, the yo, manager. If I'm gonna like, I'm the manager. so if I send him a snap no, it's and it's a song and he doesn't yeah. say anything, I'm like, okay, that's done. That's trash. I'm not gonna do anything more on that song. And then listen, unless, if you ever send me a snap and I don't reply, it's because I'm fucking old and I don't Snapchat yeah, often. Yeah, enough. dude. I'm half that guy. Like, don't ever take it offensive. Me. Yeah, dude. Half I'm the time, so it bad. Ain't at even that. like that. It's not like I'm. Not I'll be like, like, I'll realize four hours later, like, oh fuck, Casey sent me a snap. Somebody didn't. I was like, I didn't even, I didn't even reply. And then like, and then it's gone, and I go, what didn't I reply to? Exactly. Fuck, just send me the real text but so nah. I can play it over and over because it is that good. Dude, seriously. And, dude, how many times have I told you some shit was whack? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that good. Hey, no. I'm saying your success rate's over 70, mm. for sure. Yeah, for sure. It's way better than the Detroit Lions. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, but... For real, it's a, and that's the sweet thing too. Is like even since you moved away, like you can tell you put in the work to like grow your skill too. Because it's like I was busting yeah. out. But I don't. Dude, I like. That, it, I like it a lot. That shit yeah. is like it's good, dude. Yeah. That's actually exactly what. Good. That's what exactly yeah. music is supposed to be. Is if I'm out drinking tequila, you should make me nod my head. Yeah, yeah. and dude, that's, if you, you know? think about it too, you could show that to anybody. Like you, your verse sure. in music, you know your shit. You know if something's trash, and it's like you could show that shit to your favorite rapper, and I guarantee you, you'd be like, oh, that's fucking sick. Yeah. Just because it gives you that vibe, but yeah, that ba- especially to that beat too, and this like yeah. your wordplay, your syllables are like every fucking bar. Yeah. Of the of the beat too, so yeah. No, that one uh, actually just came to me uh, like, like a week ago, and I was like, oh man, like the, I I found that beat, and I really liked it, and uh, but yeah, that's the thing is that I just don't know when to keep going and when it's like, oh, now you're just trying too hard and you're not always keep and, going. Oh yeah, bro, yeah. push for fucking you always two keep and going. Half minutes yeah. minimum. Yeah. And then you'll know like you'll be like, oh, that was trash, or even like you'll rewrite. The second half of the song, yeah, Yeah. better version. Eventually, you just go. It isn't even if you scrap it. Even if you just like, there's, dude. Even the best bands in the world put out albums, and only two songs on the album are good. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And to get to that point, they show fifty songs. Dude, for sure. Yeah. Think. Yeah, a lot yeah. of songs that don't even see that. And that's the beauty of, like, media today, too, is you get to see that behind-the-scenes shit, and you get to you're see not just how wasting your favorite tape now. people... You see how your favorite people even fucking are, like, making whack-ass shit. Yep. Making whack-ass shit. And then they're like, fuck it, we ain't doing that. Completely abandon it. And it's like, dude, there's human error in everything. Yeah. We're all human. Everything. Yeah. Until we get the AI yeah, plugged into the... Until that 5G Until Elon fucking plugs me in. Yeah. Plug me in. The I'll fucking spider brain. Fuck it. Out. I'd give it... A, if I could Google search, knowing that I could, like, just in my mind, Google search without having to whip out my phone. You'd be the coldest motherfucker. Dude. Planet, bro. <laughs> I'd go for it. If you had that option, would you do it? Yeah, fuck it. Hands yeah. down, I'm yeah. in. Me I'm old too. enough now. Like we've I, talked about talk carbon about nanotech old. so dude, much, bro. Uh, we get into this. I talk hole like I'm wicked old. Podcast, I'm, on, dude. I'm about to turn 37, and I'm like, if I could get Google search, dude, it's on. I got, I got, plug me in. Fucking, they can know all my dirty thoughts. I don't even care, dude. Uh, I ain't in. done nothing that shady. I'm not. Me Bill neither. Clinton. Same, fucking like fucking I ain't tripping, dude. How deep does it go? Yeah. 
Weird. Casey, thanks for fucking coming in, dude. Yeah, man. No, thanks for I'm driving so, yeah, a couple miles no, to make it. I'm sorry for uh, having to cut man, it. Probably thousand plus. Yeah. Huh? No, I'm, I was super excited, man. Um, listen to the last one, it definitely made me miss everything and, and definitely uh, gave me the motivation. To hear that, hop, Brett? Yeah. We inspired a yeah. motherfucker hop, hop from a car. state away to and, drive 12 And hours. I was going to make sure this happened, man, and, and I'm, I'm really happy this trip kind of went the way it did. I got to see, you know, most people. I, uh, I wanted to. I, you know, there was some I definitely missed, and there's some definitely I didn't want to fucking see. But, you know, hey, it was great seeing you, too, I guess. Well, but, <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, but, listen, guys. Yeah. Do math. Yeah, do, do math. math yeah. <laughs> fucking addition, and bro. Add it up. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> in Oregon. But, no, nah, man, thanks in for Oregon. having me, dude. Um, I, I'm definitely going to come back soon. Um, um, you know, Malta hasn't seen the last of me. We're going to convince his ass to move. Yeah. Man. He already we'll said see. yeah. yeah. On, it's it's on record. We'll see. It's on record. He said yeah. But, yo, it's all love. You and won't it. move here, you fucking yeah, bitch. I know. You know that. That's how I got him to move away. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. I know. Last night I was pretending like I was you know, sleeping. Dude, to I, back. I was so yeah. mad. I had to fuck it. I knew he was yeah. half in, half out. And, and like, he was, and it's the, funny cause dude, dude, fucking, I knew he was conscious. So I'm like, I don't, want, <laughs> I don't want this motherfucker to hear me talking nice yeah. about him. I'm like, are Yo, you shitting me? I'm my like, eyes I gotta were closed. Him up my eyes were closed. And I was like, attention. I heard what he was saying. I was like, Yo, I've never heard B say this many nice things about me. I'm just going to sit here yeah. and savor the moment. I'm yeah. not even going to open my eyes. And then, like, no, I was like, really, like, I was really touched because I've never actually heard, like, his side of that because B is, like, just really big on, like, not criticizing, but, like, the what's moment. That? Yeah. The moment. But, I don't think, like, yeah. I don't need to explain shit. But B to don't anybody. get deep. Like even after Vegas and everything that was going on, I hit him up and I was like, "Yo, dude, thank you so much for like really getting me out and doing everything you did for me there." And he's like, "Dude, don't fucking say thank you." And I was just like, "Yo, I'm just trying to be nice and I'm, I well, really I'm like, appreciate dude, it." Well, I'm like, dude, it's not expe- like I don't I don't go into this shit with expectations. Yeah. I'm doing it because I want to do yeah. it. So it's like you're not doing me a favor or nothing. So yeah. like, and I'm not doing you one either. So yeah. we're just chilling. Well, I know, but like, if you're in a dark place and then someone really like takes their time to bring you out of it, you're going to be thankful regardless, you know? And that's all I'm it. saying. I feel it. But, uh, I, like, dude, but no, it was just funny, though. Me too, it was just funny like, because I, uh, I definitely, I've never heard that, man. And, and um, he got to hear it. Well, yeah. quit hanging out in dark places and move back to snowy dope. Montana. I know. I know, for real. But yo, Malta, it's all love, man. Uh, thank you guys for listening to this crazy story. And uh, I bet you guys fun. laughed. Dude, yeah. it's been fun. Yeah, y'all got some dirt on us now, so y'all know a lot. <laughs> y'all know what goes on me on the Brett, keep farming. Yeah. Meet us in oh, Oregon. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to go to Oregon. Yeah, Monterey, we're cutting up next. <laughs> Amen. Facts. Woo. In Oregon. In Oregon. <laughs> In Oregon. In Oregon. In Oregon.